Welcome to Phuket News TV. Well, imagine a three-day challenge, a three-day challenge around Southeast Asia's tallest mountain, which is Mount Kinabalu in Malaysia. And the challenge was to make your way around it. And these two gentlemen did it. Why did they do it? And what was it all about? We'll find out right after this. Wow, look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. We're surrounded by water, so teach kids the most important survival skill for their confidence and for their safety. Manta Kids is a swimming academy for babies and toddlers from four months to six years, and Manta Kids is the first Thailand registered school with Swim Australia. All the levels and all the skills your children will learn, the vital survival skills to be safe and enjoy their time around the water. Manta Kids, centrally located at Dara Hotel, Facebook.com slash Manta Kids Phuket. Book now for a free trial class. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. We've got Nico and we've got Joseph here. And, uh, well, you know Nico, of course, from Fat Mango, who are doing uh, great stories for Phuket News TV. But did you know that Nico also has a father? <laughs> Joe, jo, why? What was this whole thing about? Well, it started off between Nico and me. Uh, Nico is a bit lazy sometimes. Yeah. Huh? So... Give, uh, us the, give us the goss. <laughs> you know, he works really hard when it comes to the business, yeah? But um, then it's the Friday night out with the boys, you know, doing the partying and all that. And, and Monday a, and Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> so me as a good dad, you know, I need to try to bring the balance into his life a little bit. So... I did this sub adventure challenge uh, three times before with friends uh, in the early 2000s, yeah. And uh, it is a very exciting thing to do. So I thought, well, you know, how do I get my son to work out? And um, convinced him somehow, you know, to join me for the sub adventure challenge. How much did he have to pay you? <laughs> you know what, he, he, he's been asking me for over 10 years now to do it with him, basically. If, ever since uh, he was doing it in 2000, he's always like, one day, Nico, we're going to do it together, you know. And I was always kind of in my mind, I was like, nah, it's a, it's a bit much, you know. Uh, but this year I did it, and I got to say, it was actually a really, really great experience. I was so surprised about how rewarding the whole experience was when it was done. Hey, what is up, people? We have just arrived in Kota Kinabalu and it is freaking hot in here. <laughs> Malaysia, more specifically Kota Kinabalu, located in the north of Borneo, is a somewhat untouched rainforest paradise. So tell us a little bit about Sabah and a bit about the area around Mount Kinabalu. How, describe the topography that you had to make your way over. Um, well, Sabah is in Borneo, so it's uh, on the way to Indonesia around that area and uh, the, the climate is quite similar to Phuket. Actually, I didn't feel any difference to Phuket at all. Uh, same humidity, same temperature, uh, everything. So I think we acclimatized pretty easily while we were there. And uh, I did all my training in Phuket, so actually that was, that was really convenient. Well, well, tell us about the training. How did you get ready for this and how tough was it? Um, well, it's pretty tough. Now for me, the thing, of course, it took me a long time to convince these guys. So we started with the training very, very late, yeah? Plus, uh, for me, the first quarter of the year is a lot of traveling for business. Uh, so I had to do my training in Switzerland, you know, between business calls, uh, trade shows. Well, and Switzerland has got exactly the same climate. Uh. Uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> little colder and yeah. I actually had to do my training in snow, but the altitude training was good, yeah, so it was high up. How uh, high is uh, the area you were uh, walking? Uh, and running? Uh, up there, uh, the foot of Mount Kinabalu is at about 1,300 meters. Okay. So we went up, I'm not sure, but I guess to about two, five, maybe close to 3,000, yeah, on the last day when uh, we climbed Mount Kinabalu as part of the uh, race course, uh, but not all the way to the top, yeah. How tough is the three-day challenge? Uh, the first day for me, was a real challenge yeah I wasn't really too fit I didn't have enough training not well prepared and um, we were on our feet and on the bike for a full nine hours plus uh, there is no break uh, you feed yourself with uh, power gels and um, uh, Mars know, bars 
well not even you don't have time for that you know it's it's power gels just squeeze those things you know and uh, then the electrolytes uh, with with all the gear you know it's important that your gear is uh, adequate for what you want to do yeah is it a race it's a race absolutely yeah so uh, there is two ways to enter the race either as a team like what we did the challenge the sub adventure challenge as adventure category uh, so for us it was a father and son team uh, from what I recall there were about 30 teams to start uh, of the 30 I think almost half of them uh, did not complete for uh, equipment failure and some exhaustion uh, so, so there were some accidents as well small ones not big ones yeah and uh, yeah we finished we, we didn't win but we finished yeah now, if it wasn't bad enough to actually have to go through this three-day physical challenge, you actually made a video at the same time. How on earth did you achieve that? Well, you know, with Fat Mango, uh, everything that I do, uh, I motivate myself because of the video. So uh, when he first asked me about it, I was a little bit on the rocks about it. I was like, not sure if I wanted to do it. Wow. Oh, wow. And I bent, bent the handlebars too. Oh. Whew, I was freaking out for a second there. Holy I almost crashed here just now because I had something on my mind. And what I had on my mind was that I was eating that biscuit earlier. And I think I left the wrapper on the floor. But then I convinced myself and I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'll have a final product. Uh, with, you know, this, this video that we have now on our channel. And I'm really happy with it, you know. And this is something that really motivates me to do things and gets me out of my comfort zone. So I'm really, really, really happy. So this about wasn't it. a big shoulder-mounted uh, sort of TV camera. What, what, what did you take for cameras? Uh, just GoPros. So I had two GoPros, one mounted on the bicycle and one on the helmet. And they both survived. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're really resilient. Those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you both did at the challenge. You both arrived. What was the most important thing uh, for you first, Joe, uh, that you got from the, the three-day challenge? Uh, at the time with my son absolutely I mean that was really what it was all about it's uh, father and son bonding you know which uh, I think was superb you know and coming through the finish line having done it having finished you know together well that you don't even remember the hard time that you had you at the race you know it's all gone right of reply what did you get out of it well, um, apart from the video, uh, no, of course, it was... It's it, all about the video. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, it was it was so surprising how rewarding it was. The, the feeling that going through that finish line at the end and, you know, giving my dad a hug at the end, it's just, it's, it's out of this world. Like, it's, it's unexplainable. I never really thought that I would feel like that at the end, you know. You give him a hug every night if you want. <laughs> no, it's totally different. I mean, like, this is something that we really, you know, like you said before, it was nine hours on the first day, 11 hours on the second day, and then five hours on the last day. And these are all consecutive days, right? Uh, it was something that I never really thought that I would push myself to, to those extremes and really did, and we made it, you know? All right, well, congratulations to the two of you. What a, a great challenge and a great result too. A bit of father-son bonding. A great uh, video that you can watch and we'll link it to this story and uh, th just the opportunity I suppose to complete a physical challenge. You're going to keep up the physical work now? Absolutely. I have done that ever since I'm 20. I went through the same uh, sort of period like Nico, you know, partying, girls at the time and everything else. You know, then you settle down and you understand that you need a balance in life, yeah? And I started mid-twenties, you know, working out uh, running, biking and all that and I kept it up ever since. Do right. you hear that? The good days are going to come to an end soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. Alright, so I can officially say that we've finished the race. I gotta say, it was much tougher than I thought it was going to be, but we did it. And now, I think it's time for just chill. Have you ever been refused a visa to Australia? Thinking of visiting, studying or a partner visa to Australia? Call now 076 612 550 or visit ausvisa.org.